Today I'm going to share with you a classic easy way to decorate your Christmas tree without ornaments and doing much work to it other than a few presents and a few embellishments. Welcome to my channel Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey! This is a challenge hosted by Heidi Sambo, so look for a playlist in my description. But until then, let's get on with my Christmas tree. So this is a basket we picked up at the thrift store for $4.99. My husband is cutting it in half and cutting a little circle in it. That way we can now open it around the base of the tree because this is quite a large tree. It is a fake tree, so it has a plastic metal stand and we wanted to fit it around the base and it fit perfect. So I am so happy. I think it is just super adorable. So this is a bench I have by the side of my tree and I'm just cleaning it up and I love putting cushions and pillows on this. This time I'm using a blanket. This is just a red buffalo check blanket with a Christmas blanket in the background and some holiday pillows I picked up from Target. So now I'm adding a little blanket here. I like to use painters tarps for the bottom of my trees, but I decided to use a blanket this time. Of course, I'm getting Miko kisses because I'm on the floor. This ribbon is super durable. I love this ribbon. I think it's very sweet. It is a wired edge, so you are able to bend it and mold it to the size that you want. I am cutting this about eight to 10 inches and I am going to be putting them, tucking them into the Christmas tree to make it look like the ribbon is going in and out. But I did try those first couple smaller ribbons that I cut and the eight to 10 inches really wasn't big enough. So I ended up cutting about 15 inches, give or take. And this is long enough now to tuck into the branches and you're gonna see but i really love this ribbon i got it at bj's you can get it at costco i believe hobby lobby has it and this is just um, a nice durable ribbon but it's also a very large spool of it and it's not that expensive when you buy it in bulk like this so it's it you're you'd be surprised how much you get out of this so i'm just looping it around looping it around and now i'm going to cut the pieces in the middle just so I can get strips of it. It was just an easier way than cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. I just wrapped it around and then cut the ends. So these are super pretty. You can see my colors here. I have a lot of red and black. My living room is an Alpine ski lodge. So I have been working on this for quite a while now. We have a lot of working parts in this room. So we have a corner where it is all vintage items and then I have my Christmas tree area and then on the other side I have some more storage and other furniture I decorated. So today we're working on the tree and I'm showing you how you can decorate your Christmas tree without going wild with the ornaments or doing a bunch of different balls and all different things that I mean I love ornaments. I think they're super cute. I have many ornaments for my children that they have made but I also have multiple trees in my home so this tree is my largest tree I think it's very very simple and classic and so I wanted to keep it vintage without loading it with ornaments if that makes sense so I am just tucking in the ribbon anywhere I feel like the ribbon would go so I tried to follow it around and then go from left to right and then right to left and then keep going like a ribbon would follow. I didn't put any on the back because nobody can see the can see the back over there. So I guess maybe my neighbors can, but that's okay. So I think this is super sweet. You can do it however you wanted. You could take the ribbon and just put it all throughout the entire tree. I just thought this would be time saving and money saving. I think this is super sweet and you can tell I have a bunch of different lights on here because I ran out of lights and I just used whatever lights I had in my house. So here are a bunch of Christmas presents and 
I will do a designated video at some point before the season to show you the different bows and wrapping ways that we can wrap our presents to make them look pretty. These ones, I was not trying to make them super, super pretty because they are just decoration. So the back isn't going to be seen by anybody. And so I'm just wrapping it and I'm using my craft paper and my Dollar Tree wrapping paper. I love using craft paper. It's very durable and you can use a heat gun if you're going to add embellishments and you don't have to worry about ripping the paper. So here the paper didn't fit and I'm just doing um, a sideways kind of wrap. I should have cut more and instead of wasting more paper, I just turned it sideways, which I can show you guys if you'd like on my full video of wrapping. There are just so many ways of wrapping presents. It's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, so I think this is super pretty. I think wrapping presents to me is just as important as the actual gift. Like I love making my gifts pretty. So I have more of that ribbon. I have the same ribbon I've been working on. I did pull out some Dollar Tree ribbon, but I ended up not using it. So I'm using this really pretty Buffalo check with gold trees on it. And this again was from BJ's. So it is a huge spool of it. And I'm just wrapping them different, like all of them differently. I'm using some of the ribbon from the tree. And then I just have some greenery and some gold embellishments from Dollar Tree and some ribbon. And I'm just adding it just so where I think it looks cute. No rhyme or reason, nothing's the same. I have this beautiful vintage guitar I picked up at the thrift store the other day. And right here I'm adding some flowers to it. I thought it was gonna be cute, but the more I looked at it, I don't know. I just thought it looked kind of funny. So if you if you like the gold flowers coming out of the guitar, let me know. But I am going to change that. So these, the gold flowers, I actually got from the thrift store as well for $4.99. And that guitar was $9.99. So I did not like the flowers. And I went to my bow maker and I just made a quick little bow. And here is the corner where I started my Alpine Ski Lodge. I'm gonna go back to that in a second, but I wanna share with you guys the full final reveal of my Christmas tree. I am in love with this. I just think this is so sweet. I cannot wait till there are real presents underneath, but I also don't want the dogs and the cat to ruin the real Christmas presents. So right now they are the faux ones. This is a cute little instrument I also got at the thrift store for $1.99. I think everything is so adorable, adding in vintage and adding in some fabric mixed with wood and metal. I just think it is such a great added bonus to any room, but especially for Christmas. And these little pillows I had gotten at Target. I think they're super sweet. That Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas was $5 at Target. And that Vintage Santa, he was $2 from the thrift store. I love how my presents came out. I think they are so sweet. I wasn't sure about not using ornaments this year. I wasn't sure if it was going to be too plain, but I love it. I think it's perfect. I think this is just the sweetest tree for an alpine ski lodge i feel this is very natural for how 2021 has been and i just think it is just a wonderful beautiful setup that i have done here with the plaid and the greens and the reds i just think is also sweet that basket underneath the tree is adorable I have another basket for a different tree. I'm hoping it comes out just as good. So I will share that with you guys once I do it. Again, all these presents were wrapped. Well, the wrapping is just two different wraps. The Dollar Tree plaid and then the craft paper. The brown is the craft paper. And then the ribbon, I just changed it up. So you can see we use two different ribbons and I also use that ribbon that is in the tree you can see that here it is just kind of woven in and out of the tree to make it look like it is a full wrapping around but it is not as you saw and i just think this is so sweet let me know down in the comments what you do for your wrapping do you just wrap it and give it or do you like to make it pretty 
This book stack I made last year when my YouTube channel was just a little baby. So I will post that link down in the description. But I am just so happy with how this came out. And I am just so excited for Christmas. So this was where we started when I first originally started my Alpine Ski Lodge theme. I have a full video which I will link in my description if you want to watch how I did these DIYs. I made a lot of these DIYs. I also did a lot of thrift store finds and I just love these so much. I love this candlestick holder. I think it is so sweet and this little bell. It is a functional bell and I just love how you can intermix vintage items with your DIYs and with your Dollar Tree crafts and it is just amazing what we are able to do with not too much money. So this is another video that I just did the other day. Again, this is for my Alpine Ski Lodge on the opposite side of the room. So it's in the same room, just a little bit over, and I shared with you guys how to decorate cube organizers for the holidays. Cube organizers are super ugly in my mind, but now it is super festive and ready for the holidays. And again, I use a lot of vintage items along with my greenery from Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree, and I share all of that in my video, which you can find down in my description. I am so in love with Christmas. I love decorating and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget it's a playlist and I will see you guys back very soon.